Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, especially if you're new here, my name is Gina. So today for day five, I think, of Bookmas, we have setting up my cozy winter TBR card. If you are new here and you haven't seen these videos before, I have two specific TBR shelves. My TBR card is like my priority TBR and I'm a very seasonal reader. For my winter TBR card, I want cozy reads, I want some maybe some mystery, some fan. Fantasy. I want like those reads that make me feel like I have a big warm hug. So that being said, the first book that I have here, I'm going to put my hardbacks on the shelf first. The first one I have on my winter TBR is The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. I know I'm a little late on this one. Everyone really loves this series. There's some mixed reviews on A Curse for True Love, I will say. I just want to finish this series in the winter. So A Curse for True Love will eventually be on this cart. I just don't own it yet. And I want to read this before I get it. I heard this book ends on like a gnarly cliffhanger and I'm so incredibly nervous for it. I am so incredibly nervous for it because I can't even describe what I think it might be. Next book that I have here is Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. This was on my fall TBR cart, I believe, or it was at some point on my fall TBR in one of the months. I didn't get to it, but that's okay. This is an Antony and Cleopatra, the Shakespeare play. It's a retelling of that. This would be my first Chloe Gong, just because I know everyone loves the These Violent Delight series by her, but it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling and I don't like Romeo and Juliet guys. The next book that I want to put on my winter TBR and you guys if you're not new here if you have been a subscriber you're gonna yell at me is The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. I love Donna Tartt. The Secret History is one of my favorite books ever. I love it. I don't know why I can't read this book. I think I'm intimidated by it because Donna Tartt is one of those authors where you have to sit and think about it. The next book that I have on my cozy winter TBR is Between. This book, I don't know too much about it. It's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. When I got this in the mail, I was like, whoa, this is independently published, I believe. It's by L.L. Starling and it is a fantasy about a preschool teacher who is reading about like the fairy tale characters and in this world they exist. So she's kind of like telling them like legends and stuff about the world. She's reading about these characters and all of a sudden they start coming alive. She gets transported in the story and then it goes from there. The next book I have is another one that is going to kind of continue on from my fall TBR but I think it's okay because I think this kind of gives me like the cozy winter fantasy anyway and that's all of our hidden gifts. This is another one that's been on mini TBRs. I really need to get to it. It's a trilogy I believe. This is the first book in it. All I know is that it's like three girly witches or something like that. I'm gonna pick one that hasn't been on a previous TBR just because I want to start getting like those vibes going, you know? And that book is gonna be Ruin and Rising, which is the third and final book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I'd really like to finish this soon, specifically hopefully before the new year. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know if it's gonna be on my December TBR yet because I'm actually filming this before I film my TBR that you guys have already seen. If you do want to go see my December TBR, it is five videos ago now which is crazy that I've uploaded that much already but you know and then that actually leads me to the next book on my winter TBR and that is Six of Crows this is the next series in the Grishaverse it has nothing to do with the plot of Shadow and Bone but it's within the same universe I don't believe there's any overlap between the stories themselves other than being in the same universe the next few books that I have are actually three books in one series and that is Killer Instinct which is the second book in the natural series and then I want to read all in which is the third book in the natural series finally I want to finish the natural series and read bad blood there's also the novella 12 in this one as well the next book I have is another one that was on a few TBRs ago this might have even been on my summer TBR but it is Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe I'm so late on this book but everyone who's ever read this I swear to god has like absolutely adored this book like look at all the awards it's won the next book that I have on my winter TBR is the atlas Six. I am really excited about this book except people either absolutely adore this book or they hate it with every fiber of their being. I'm nervous. I'm nervous for that reason but I like the idea of like the plot so I'm hoping at the very least even if I don't love the book which I'm hoping I do but even if I don't I hope I really enjoy the actual plot of it. It's about six rival magicians at this magic school but only five of them can get a slot so they're all competing. It's about the competition. I'm really excited to read it. I think this will be 
like a cozy winter book to curl up with this will be one that will be great like on like a rainy day the next book that i have here is the last book in a series that i've been loving so far and that is kingdom of the feared which is the third and final book in the kingdom of the wicked trilogy this will be really helpful because it'll complete one of my series if you are unaware if you are new here i do have a series on my channel where i'm filming spoiler free reading vlogs and updates where i try to finish every single book series that's either on my physical tbr or every single book series that i'm just in the middle of currently the next book that i really want to read this one's like kind of out of my comfort zone a little and that's project hail mary by andy weir this is another book where i've not seen a single bad review about it i know the alien in this book like the main character alien guy is like super sweet and everyone loves him to the point where they like cry over him but not even because it's sad just because they love him so much that sounds like right up my alley. The next book is another super cozy one. I'm That's gonna get redundant to say because I'm gonna be so real, all of these books I picked because of their coziness quality. And the next one is The Night Circus. So late on this one, like years late on this book. My friend has been begging me to read this for years. Today, today's like our first gloomy day in Southern California in a long time. And on this gloomy day, I thought this would be a great book to read. Next one I have is one that again, even if I don't get it picked out in my December TBR, I probably will put it on my TBR just manually. And that's Eileen by Otessa Moshfeth. I don't really know what this is about. I just know it takes place during the Christmas season season and therefore I want to read it during December literally no other reason this is what I mean when I say I'm a seasonal reader like you will not see a single book that takes place during the summer unless I don't know it takes place during the summer the next book that I have here is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare this is the first book in like the entire Shadowhunters universe I am reading it in the Shadowhunters universe series order so it's multiple series combined into one almost like the Addicted Calloway Sisters series this is the theme of this is books that I should have read in 2012 I think because another one that I just have never read. So the next book is Just Kids by Patti Smith. This is actually a memoir, so it's a nonfiction. Patti Smith was like a rock singer in the 70s, which I'm super interested like in the story. It says it starts as a love story and ends as a eulogy. And I know Patti Smith's songs, but I don't know a lot about her life. I don't really know like the lore. If you've seen the Amazon Prime Daisy Jones and the Six show, the intro is a song by Patti Smith. The next book that I have, getting back into like the cute girly books, I have What Happened after midnight by kale Walther. i've noticed that each of her book releases have kind of been set to a season as well i just know that they're at like a boarding school and they're on like some weird scavenger hunt thing i'm excited about this the next book that i have on my winter tbr is blindside by candy signer this is the second book in the red zone rival series i believe it's called i'd really like to finish this series i'm not maybe before the new year but as the new year approaches i want to finish it during football season because it's a football romance series, so what else can I say? I'm really excited to read Blindside because everyone says that it's like their favorite book in the Red Zone Rival series, so I'm really excited about that one. The next book that I have here that I really want to read within the winter season is going to be Daughter of the Pirate King. This is a fantasy, it's a YA fantasy. I know nothing about this other than people really, really enjoy it and it's like a series. So I really just wanna start the series. This has been on my TBR for far too long. I think we have space for one more book here. So I am going to put Hamnet in that space. This is a literary fiction and it's also kind of a historical fiction. I do believe it is about Shakespeare's son, which in real life Shakespeare's son was named Hamnet. It's fiction still, so it's not like about his actual life because he actually did pass away at the age of 11. The next book on my winter TBR is actually going to be Beartown by Frederick Bachman. Horrified because I love Frederick Bachman, but every single thing I've ever read by him, I've only read two things, but both of them have made me sob cry, like crying into the book. Just utter devastated because it's so beautiful so touching and I'm excited for that but I can only read so much of that at a time and I know this is gonna make me do the same thing because that's how Frederick Bachman writes he writes very very beautiful touching stories with all these lovable characters and I'm excited about it this is actually about a hockey team and the next book on my winter TBR is because of a show coming out I'm finally for the first time in my life going to read the Percy Jackson series so I have the first book in the Percy Jackson series here and I really want to read the first book before I get to the first season of the show just so that I'm caught up I want to read the book before I watch the show I want to see if I like it I'm assuming the show 
show's gonna be amazing just from what I've seen, but I do really wanna read the book because I've never read the Percy Jackson series. The next book on my winter TBR is The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez. I wanted to put this here just because this is another one that's been on my TBR for far too long. I've just been staring at it and I've never read an Abby Jimenez book and I really, really wanna get into her stuff. Everyone loves Abby Jimenez. I haven't seen a lot of people say that they don't like her as an author and I just really wanted to start with The Friend Zone because it's like in a series and I want to read the series in order even though they're all interconnected standalones so I'm really excited about this this is another one I just I needed to get it off my physical TBR hopefully before the new year but at least in the first few months of the new year get it off my physical TBR because it's just been there for far too long this book I have is King of Wrath by Anna Hong I really enjoyed the last three books in the Twisted series so I think I'm gonna like this I haven't been super motivated to pick it up but now King of Greed just came out and people are like raving about King of Greed so I'm really really excited to read this now because I want to get to King of Greed. I know I could read them all at any point, but I want to read the Interconnected Standalone series in order still, so I do want to finally get into this series, get back into Anna Hong's writing. The last Anna Hong book I read was in January, so it's been a while since I've read one of her books, and now I have three books in a series to catch up on. Then the next book I have is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. People love this book. I don't know much about it. All I know is that it's a Queen of Hearts retelling. I'm really, really excited to get into it and I'm excited to like get into like the Alice in Wonderland fantasy vibes. I like kind of like the fairy tale fantasy vibes because I think they're kind of unique especially because I know like high fantasy kind of dominates the genre so I kind of like just like a cozy fairy tale fantasy. I think there is some action in this still. This is another one I haven't heard a ton about but every person that I've seen reviewed this enjoys it so you know I'm hoping that I like it too. The next book I have on my winter TBR is The Plus One. This is an enemies to lovers romance. It's a fake dating. They're at a wedding. I know it's giving like Spanish love deception, the unhoneymooners vibes. This kind of blew up randomly on Book Talk Instagram like a while ago for like a week and I bought it because of the hype. Then we have our Christmassy book of the year. I've decided I'm probably only gonna read like one Christmassy book this year, and that is going to be Love Light Farms. This book blew up last year, and everyone really, really enjoyed this. Like, people enjoyed it more than the average Christmas romance. The next book on my winter TBR is Pride and Premeditation. We have a little cozy thriller here. This is a YA thriller. I'm not expecting to be like scared or horrified of this the way I might be of like an adult thriller, but I'm excited to have like the little cozy thriller vibes. It's obviously a Pride and Prejudice retelling and there are a bunch of Jane Austen kind of murder mystery retellings that this author has done and I've read all of Jane Austen so I just really wanted to get to this because I think I'm gonna enjoy it and I think I'm gonna enjoy this series in general. The next book I have is another one been on my TBR for far too long and that's You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogel. This book blew up like two years ago at this point which is crazy to think about but it blew up two years ago and I never read it and I feel left out. I really want to read this book. People say it gives How to Lose a Guy in 10 Day vibes and I love that movie. It's about two people who are engaged but they kind of don't like each other anymore but whoever breaks off the wedding has to pay for it so they both start pranking each other in an attempt to get the other person to break the wedding off and then of course they end up kind of rekindling their relationship falling back in love and that's like a really interesting premise because they're already together so I'm interested to see how that's gonna work. I really want to read this book I really feel left out at this point. The next book I have is actually a recent purchase and I am so excited about this. I was gonna get this book no matter what because I love this author but I have seen such great reviews. This book came out last week from when I'm filming this and the reviews I have seen have been amazing. People are loving this book like giving it full five stars. I've not seen anyone give it below a four stars yet and that is Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I am a Lauren Asher girly. I love Lauren Asher. I love the Dreamland Billionaire series. I'm so excited because this is kind of a spinoff to that series but it's not but it is. It's about like a I think she's an interior designer home person and she has like an HGTV show type beat and it's her and her childhood best friend except 
their childhood best friends to enemies to lovers. Next book that I want to read in the winter months is Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood. I am an Allie Hazelwood stan. I've heard, again, great things about this. People have not complained about this at all, but from what I'm seeing, this is Allie Hazelwood's debut into YA, which I'm really excited about. It's about two rival chess players, which is super fun. I love that concept. It's just a cute little rom-com Allie Hazelwood romance. The last two books are actually the last two books in the same series, so I'm gonna just show them at the same time. And that is Reckless by Elsie Silver and Hopeless by Elsie Silver. These are the last two books in the Chestnut Spring series. I'm so close to finishing this series out too, and this is another one that I just can't wait to get this entire series on my shelf, but I'm also so sad that the series is ending. I've loved pretty much every book in the Chestnut Spring series. Heartless is the second book in the series, and it's one of my favorite books of all time. Like, I just love it. So I'm really excited to finish off this series, get them all on my shelf because the covers are so gorgeous all together and I'm so happy I got the mirror covers as well. So this one, Reckless, is the fourth book in the series and this is like an unexpected pregnancy trope, but everyone likes it. Like I know a lot of people don't really like pregnancy tropes. I've heard nothing but good things about this. The last book I have is Hopeless and Hopeless is the last book in the series and this is like a fake marriage trope, I believe. I made the executive decision to film this outro on another day where the lighting is better. If you like this video, you could go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helped me out in the algorithm. And there we go. That was Bookmas Day 5. Thank you guys for sticking along with me. And I will see you all tomorrow for Bookmas Day 6. Okay, bye guys.